Have you ever cruised with Morella? Are you going on a cruise on the Morella Explorer? If the answer is yes, first off, lucky you. And secondly, you've come to the right place. In today's video, we'll be showing you all you need to know about cruising on this beautiful ship. From embarkation to departure, your cabin, the facilities, the food, and of course, the drink. Join us as we take you on a Morella cruise. Let's do this! On your Morella Cruise Control page, you've checked in, submitted your documents and printed stuff. Now it's off to the airport and time to start your holiday. You can attach your cabin labels before you fly, but we didn't trust the Greek baggage handlers, so... Now apparently, but to print these luggage labels out, fold them up. I had to do the folding, Rachel isn't very good at folding. And we've got to sellotape them. We did say staple them, but I don't think we'll be allowed to take staples through, so we've got to tape them. Don't worry if you haven't printed them out. There are plenty of TUI staff in the airport to help you. Once on the transfer coach, you're given your first cruise info letter. And there she is, the Morella Explorer. Let's check in. When checking in, they take your photo for ID. This photo is assigned to your cruise card, which we'll tell you more about later. Check-in for us took about five minutes, then we were on the ship. We were in cabin 10101, and our cruise cards were waiting for us on the door. Our welcome info was waiting for us. First job, boat drill. You were asked to watch the safety presentation on the TV in your cabin. You find the info about your muster station on your cabin door, and then at the time given, you go and register. Your suitcases are delivered straight to your cabin and the clever chaps at Morella have made it super easy to know where you are. They've colour-coded the stairwells. The colour scheme for the back of the ship, or aft as we say in ship terms, is green. And the middle of the ship is red. And the front of the ship, or forward as we say in shipping terms, is blue. If in doubt, look at the stairs. By every lift or elevator, there is an interactive board. Here you can check timings, restaurants, menus, ports, entertainment, basically anything you need to know. Or, if you're like Wills and you're still lost even with colour-coded stairwells, you can use the Find My Cabin feature. Wills is here. And his cabin is there. Yep, Morella Cruises really do cater for the directionally challenged. It's on to food, everyone's favourite part of the cruise. The dress codes are pretty relaxed on Morella, but please don't show up to the main dining room in your swimmers. Latitude 53 is the main dining room. What do we say? Cheers. Cheers. We certainly do. We ate here most nights and found the menus varied and the food good. There were always options of fish, meat, vegetarian and vegan. We loved it. On the port side of Deck 5 of Latitude 53 is this restaurant. For the first time, we're in Vista Restaurant, the Italian on the ship. This restaurant is included in your cruise fare, but it's first come, first seated, so get there early. It's certainly delicious. The marketplace is up on Deck 11 and is the ship's buffet. We ate breakfast there most mornings. There's a wide variety of food, but you know me and sausage. We also ate lunch here on the sea day and had our evening meal here once too. The food on offer here is different every day. There are often themed days when you can enjoy food from across the globe. You can always get juice, water and basic hot drinks from here. Also on deck 11 is the Mediterranean. On port side is a Spanish restaurant serving tapas. We ate here one evening and it was beautiful. A few dishes on the menu are charged for extra, but we did just fine with the all-inclusive. On the starboard side is an Italian restaurant. Here you can enjoy fresh pizza and pasta. For pasta, you order your custom dish and then what happens, Will? We've ordered our pasta, custom-made pasta, and we've given us one of these. It's a little buzzer. And we're sat outside at the moment. When our food's ready, we get buzzed. And it was delicious. But if you're poolside and don't really want to move, then the snack shack is for you. Here you can pick up fish and chips, burgers and hot dogs. You can even enjoy them in these really cute cabins if you want to. On one day of the cruise they even had a barbecue out on deck for sail away. There was a lovely salad bar and it was fun to watch the chefs cooking the different dishes, dancing whilst they did so. And it smelled amazing. But if you're posher than us and like a finer cuisine there are paid dining options. The dining club is a French restaurant. There is also a sushi bar if Japanese is your preferred cuisine. We had wanted to try either Surf and Turf or Corolla, the Indian. A word of warning, these restaurants do get quickly booked up, so either book before your cruise or in the first one or two days. Another very important topic, 
drinks. Morella is an incredibly good value cruise line, as your drinks are included in the price of your cruise. You can choose to pay the premium package and pay £10 per person per day. This will give you named spirits, better wines, soft drink cans, posh coffee and a wider range of cocktails. To be honest, we found the all-inclusive package to be just fine. The info about your package is all stored on your cruise card and you can upgrade at any time. So let's explore the bars. The Squid and Anchor is what we'd call the ship's pub. In the day, there are some events, but it's at night when this bar comes alive. In the corner of the Squid and Anchor, you'll find the Gin and Whiskey Bar. This bar specialises in tasting premium gins and whiskey, which are chargeable. The lounge has a very pink vibe going on, from these stylish seats to the pink piano. This is another bar that's more of an evening bar. There's live music here every evening too. If you like a quiet bar, we recommend Bar 53 on Deck 5 Aft, perfect for a quiet drink. This is the inside of the Mediterranean Bar on Deck 11. Everyone is different and everyone will find their perfect place. Ours was definitely the outside area of the Mediterranean Bar, both day and night. There's nothing nicer than having the last drink of the day listening to the ocean. The aperitif bar is outside Surf and Turf and Coralar and is a champagne and prosecco bar. The Indigo Bar on Deck 12 Forward is the late night bar and nightclub. Being early risers, we didn't visit this when it was in full swing. This is where they host the silent discos and where you can dance and drink into the early hours. It's well past our bedtime. This is the coffee port where you'll get all your speciality coffees. It's free if you're on the premium package, but chargeable if not. The pool bar is very popular during the day, often with queues. Our advice is to nip one deck up to the shack bar, as this is a lot less busy. Cheers! Next up, facilities. On Deck 11 Midship, you'll find the pools and jacuzzis. Sometimes there is live music, but there is quiet time too. It does get busy on sea days and you may not get a lounger poolside, but we usually found one on the deck above. Scoop's ice cream is also on pool deck, although this isn't free. You can find free ice cream in the marketplace though. Deck 12 is the family deck. Here you'll find mini golf. Everything you need to play is in this box. You'll also find the sun deck, jogging track, sports court and ping pong. Shuffleboard is down on deck 6. It is worth noting that there is a teens club and a kids club on board. The gamer zone is on deck 8. Although we only walked through it twice, there was never anyone there. Next door to that is the library. In the day of the e-reader, libraries aren't what they once were on ships. This seemed to be more of a book exchange. The ocean spa can be found on deck 11 forwards. The gym is free to use. All spa treatments are chargeable and we think pretty pricey. So remember, you can use the gym for free. We didn't. The Morella Explorer can carry 1,924 passengers, has 962 cabins, 13 decks and 794 crew. Although some of the main areas get busy at certain times, it's always possible to find a place just for you. One of our favourite places was the smoking deck at the back of the Squid and Anchor. Even though we don't smoke, it was perfect for sail away. There are plenty of toilets in the public areas, should you need to spend a penny or your own Nate, sorry. The atrium sits in the middle of the ship from deck 5 all the way up to 8. Here you'll find the reception desk and the guy sitting at the table on the left can help you with Navigate, the TUI internet app. Right next to reception is destination services. You can book tours from here or arrange the Morella bike hire. There are people here to speak to as well. The cruise holiday store is midship on deck 6, should you wish to book your next trip. Next to this is the cinema. We didn't watch a film on this trip, but they had a good variety of films on. We did, of course, sneak in for a cheeky look. Next on deck 6, you get to the photo studio. There are official photographers capturing those magic moments throughout the cruise. How does it work, Wills? These photos work by using face recognition. It's really, really clever. You scan your barcode and the photo you took for your card, it basically, if you've had your photo taken during the week, it shows you a picture. So just have a little look, come forward. This is who it thinks Rachel is. Now, is, 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 uh, mm, uh, is Rachel any of these? Is that Rachel? No. Is that Rachel? Back to me, back to me. I don't know if you can see, the common denominator is the captain. So basically, this thinks Rachel looks like the captain. Excellent. I really must sort out my beard. That's better. 
Next up, it's cabins. We booked an inside cabin on deck 10. To us, a cabin is just somewhere to sleep and store your stuff. And in true postcard and a pint style, we only booked two weeks ago, and this is what they had left. So let's have a look. You get a fridge, ours has beer, standard. Behind the big mirror is more storage and a safe. You get tea and coffee making facilities. A word of advice, do pack a four gang, especially if you have a lot to charge. You only get two European sockets in your cabin, one by the mirror and one on top of the fridge. So pack a couple of adapters and a four gang extension. Wills' cruise hack, dry your swimmers above the TV. We found that there was ample storage in the cabin. There are plenty of shelves and drawers. And more than enough hanging space. There was easily enough room in the wardrobe to store both suitcases. The bathroom does have a raised step into it, but it's needed to stop water spilling into the cabin in rough seas. The bathroom was clean and functional and don't worry about the dinosaur dryer, there's a modern hair dryer in the drawers by the mirror. Now my preferred method for drying swimmers is the clothesline. Not the TV, eh Wills? The bin in your bathroom is here. And your spare toilet rolls are kept here. You get complimentary soap and shower gel and a whole zoo of towel animals over your stay. Our cabin steward was Raja, he was brilliant. The TV in your room is mostly channels that are useful to the crews. There are other styles of cabins but ours suited us just fine. Ok, Wi-Fi. There is free Wi-Fi on board but only to access the TUI Navigate browser. If you want to use the internet, you'll need to buy an internet package. These range from £15 to £90 depending on what you want. A little tip for you, every time you leave the internet it closes it down. To get back on you need to go to Buy Wi-Fi on the Navigate app. Once you click Buy, it recognises you and logs you back in. You can then browse the internet or maybe share some photos with those at home to make them jealous. Everything that you can do on those interactive boards around the ship can also be done on your smartphone for free. We found this app really useful. Next we'll look at the entertainment on board. The Broadway Show Lounge has shows on every evening. They even give you a drink on arrival. Cheers! The seating is really comfortable and our favourite place to sit was in the middle balcony either side. The show team on board really do work hard. On our week's cruise, we saw them do five different production shows. There are also guest acts. We saw a Gary Barlow tribute and a comedy magician. There is loads of live music around the ship from the resident bands, solo instrumentalists and the DJ. They even have a virtual band on screen at times. Some evenings they show movies under the stars. Who's got the pint? Doing it, please. At 5 pm each day, they have a quiz in the Squid and Anchor. We were rubbish. Up in the Indigo on deck 12, you can also find a small casino. The Squid and Anchor hosts a few events in the day, but the game shows and music in the evening really draw a crowd. Every cruise, there's a deck party with music, fun, and games under the stars. This was the Bright and Bold party. But as you might have seen from our other Morella vlogs, we're just too old for deck parties. How did it all finish? No idea, we went to bed. Ah, port days, what cruising is all about for us. Top tip, fill up your water bottle before leaving the ship. We were on the iconic islands cruise around the Greek islands. We did tours in Santorini and Catacalon, but just wandered to our heart's content in Mykonos, Rhodes and Harnia. We enjoyed the tours we took with Tui, but did find them a little short in both instances, with not enough time to explore as we wanted to. A cruise is a great way though to have a small taster of places, and there are definitely some places on this cruise that we will be returning to for longer. If you want to see the ports of this cruise in more detail, check out our Morella Explorer Cruise Diary vlogs. We cover some history of the places, a fair few local beers, and loads of cats.
Just in case you've not shopped enough in the port, on Deck 7 you have the Broad Street Shops. There's one shop that has some essentials, the rest seem to be quite designery and label type shops. And before you know it, it's the last night. You place your case outside your door before 1am. Your times are on the boards if you're cruising and staying. If your flight is later, you can leave your hand luggage in the Indigo and sign out a beach towel for the day. We had an evening flight, so spent our last day exploring Corfu Town. Then it was back to the ship to grab some food, as you are still all-inclusive until you leave the ship for the last time. Home time! Oh. I know it's sad. You then pick up your cases, which are laid out in deck order, quayside, board your transfer bus back to the airport. Then you're on your way home. So would we recommend a Morella cruise on board the Explorer? Absolutely. We think the biggest selling point with Morella is value. You get so much for your money. And being all-inclusive, you don't have to worry about money all cruise. The ship is clean and well-maintained. The crew are incredible and there's loads to do. We hope you enjoyed this overview of the Morella Explorer. Do like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And above all, have a happy holiday.